Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed our lectures so far and could collect many valuable informations. Now follows our last lecture presented by Mr. Ulrich Evers, Innovative Processes for Highest Cleaning Requirements. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome from my side. With my presentation, I would like to give you some overview about different possibilities we have, possibilities uh, for further improvement of the cleaning of the cleanliness of your parts. So I don't want to talk about machines, but about about solutions, about solutions that we can use in in, in different types of machines, in standard machines, in uh, special applicated machines, customized machines. We have all possibilities with it. So I would like to start with the uh, the cleaning, fine cleaning with plasma, with low pressure plasma. The plas plasma cleaning is not a really new invention, uh, but nowadays we have we see a focus on on very fine cleanness, on f on filmic cleanness, cleanliness. In the past, uh, the demands for cleanliness uh, were a lot about uh, particular. Uh, s um, contaminations, so everybody wanted to remove all the particles on the parts and count the rest particles. Nowadays, more and more, the cleanliness of the surface is coming into the focus. The uh, demands for really fine cleaning, we, uh, you, uh, the need is to know what is really re the last residue on the parts, what can be cleaned off, especially when you do uh, as a next production step, if you do a gluing, if you do a painting, any, any type of, of surface, uh, surface preparation. So you need a very, very good, uh, a very fine cleaned surface. You see it here on the, on the picture. We have a contamination and if we have the substrate, the workpiece is contaminated. If it is contaminated, we have uh, and you do a paint, whatever, you see the, the, these ball, these, these yeah. drops staying on the, on the surface, but that's not what you want to, want to have. You want to have a, a very exact, exact surface uh, where the substrate, where the, where the, uh, where the glue and, the, the, glue and the, the paint is really gives you a very fine, fine surface on your parts. Therefore, the fine clean, the filmy clinic is coming more and more into the focus. This can be reached very good with the, with the use of, uh, of plasma, with uh, low pressure plasma. You see here uh, how, how it works, more or less. The plasma cleaning is a final step. You always, it's not a step for, for rough, dirty parts. It is a fine cleaning step. You have to clean off the dirt and the, uh, yeah, the big volumes of dirt you have to clean off traditionally with a, with, a, uh, with a liquid cleaning or whatever. And afterwards you can do as a final step on the dried part, you can use the plasma as an additional step for the, for the last cleaning. To remove the oil from the, from the surface and it is a, it's a dry cleaning. It's a dry cleaning with a non-contact of the surface. Yeah. The principle of the plasma clinic, as I said, is not a new principle. What we do nowadays, we combine it. We combine it with a traditional wet cleaning, which makes it much more simple and easier to handle it and gives you a lot, lot of, uh, of advantages in the production cost and these things. So here we can see one of our standard machines. It's a, a type machine, a Echo C Core. It's a machine running with a solvent process. The solvent processes are very good for the additional plasma cleaning. For we we need the we need a, a system that runs under vacuum, and that's we have uh, normally in a in a solvent machine. So the integration of the plasma step is very very simple, very easy here. You see here on the on the right on the right photo. Uh, we see the chamber where the basket is in and uh, really the, the plasma is running at the moment and it gives this, this, this purple light. Um, let's go to the, yeah. 
Okay. H how does it work, the plasma cleaning? We have the chamber, and inside the chamber are the workpieces. There we do our normal uh, washing, in this case a degreasing by a, by a solvent, by a alcohol or whatever. Afterwards, after the wet cleaning, the parts are dried. When the parts are dried, then we re you re reduce the, the pressure inside the chamber again at a very, very low absolute pressure. We, we float the chamber with a, uh, with a process gas. The process gas is normally uh, an oxygen. So we can use pure oxygen, which is, works very well, or, or we can use normal air, which has a lower, lower volume of, of oxygen, but it works as well. And then when the chamber is floated, we do the, we do the ignition. We do the ignition of the, uh, of the gas. And then yeah, what the result we have then is, uh, let's say, uh, it's a burning. We, we burn off more or less. We burn off the residue, the last film, the last molecules of the of the oil of the grease, grease with, which is on the surface. Uh, the big advantage is what we need for this. You see it here on the uh, on the on the picture. Is, is is not a lot. We need we need the electrodes. We need some 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 equipment for floating the chamber, etc. And we need a very very good vacuum technology. But it is an additional step that don't cost you a lot of additional time, just one or two minutes. And afterwards, you can have the, you have the, the clean parts by the plasma. So result of the plasma cleaning. Here we see, we see a, a validation. We, uh, we have taken several, several parts, totally different material. All these are parts from customers. We did a cleaning with a normal degreasing, a normal uh, cleaning with a with a solvent, and after this, after this, we did an additional step with a uh, with a plasma cleaning, and you see after the wet cleaning, after wet cleaning, we reach an average uh, surface tension of 40, let's say roughly 42 millinewton per meter, and after the after the additional plasma step, we raise it up up to 68 millinewton per meter. So this is really this is a a big uh, a big improvement, a big increasement of the of the surface surface cleanliness, and may help you in your in your next production steps to to get a better a better gluing, a better uh, painting, or whatever you do with the parts afterwards. Big advantage again on the of the of the system I showed you here is we have it integrated in one of our machines. So for you as a customer, it's not a, not a big investment. We have an optimized process time. It's just one minute more. We don't need time for for putting the parts into another machine, into a plasma machine, whatever. We have you you don't need additional space for a second machine for a plasma cleaning machine. And so altogether, the operation costs and the invest costs are re relatively lower. And you can use, you still have a, a normal degreasing, a normal washing machine where you either switch on the plasma cleaning or you don't switch it over, don't switch it on. So you have all possibilities with this. Also, maybe for the future, if you invest in a new machine, maybe it's, it's interesting to have it here and now. Maybe when the future demands will, will rise up, then you are prepared for this. Okay, let's let's leave the plasma cleaning, and let's talk about what we call ultrasonic plus. Ultrasonic plus is is a possibility to to improve the uh, the result of the ultrasonic cleaning. Ultrasonic cleaning, I'm sure you know everybody about it. Ultrasonic cleaning is we have uh, any liquid, uh, uh, a, a water or a solvent, and we have an immersion process. And in this immersion process, we, we, uh, we have ultrasonic generators and we switch on the, the ultrasonic clinic. So if we have the ultrasonic plus, I have here a, a short video that I will show you soon. And here we see a, a working chamber, a working chamber with a liquid inside, and normally, when you switch on 
ultrasonic, you have the bubbles going, going straight up. If we add the ultrasonic plus, then you will see the bubbles are not going straight up. They, they make a, a additional movement to all sides and additional oscillating. And all this helps you to bring more mechanical energy into the liquid to get a better removement of the, of the parts from the, to remove the, the dirt from the surface. It, it increases a little bit the, the noise, so it's a little bit more noisy than the normal ultrasonic, but still in the range. So when I start it, you will, you will see the effect and you will hear it, that it is a little bit louder. And then when we switch it off, you will see the bubbles go straight on, straight up, uh, and the noise will be a little bit lower then. Let's see. With ultrasonic plus, and now without ultrasonic plus, normal ultrasonic. I hope it was only a, a short sequence, but I, but I hope you have seen the, the differences. So, as I said, the ultrasonic plus can be used everywhere where we have an ultrasonic equipment. So, uh, when it, the effect is we, we change the pressure, we change the pressure in the chamber. So that you have the higher the pressure in the chamber is, the, the, the better the result of the ultrasonic is. And we, we change the pressure. We don't leave it, we go up with the pressure because uh, we mostly use it in, ultra, in, in solvent machines. And solvent machines are machines running under vacuum. And there we have to have the possibility to go up with the pressure to, uh, to get these effects where the, where the bubbles are uh, better, give a better result on the, on the surface of the parts. It's a little bit tricky. The technology is a little bit tricky behind because we are talking about solvent machines and solvent machines. Solvent is normally a flammable medium nowadays and you must be careful about possible explosions and these things, but we know what we are doing at that case. So, the throughput is not impacted by it. The throughput is not impacted. This means uh, you can switch it on or off during the normal ultrasonic uh, treatment. It is a good use for for party uh, for to form removing particles. Then the with the plasma we had the the filmic uh, the filmic uh, contamination, and now we are uh, ultrasonic plus is again more uh, to form remove small particles. It is good for small tiny. Uh, components. So here you can see one, one component with a ball with a hole inside. Inside is, a, is, an, is an air bubble. And if you now change, if you now change the pressure in the chamber, the air bubble uh, changes the size and gets better out and liquid is better coming in. And by the ultrasonic plus you get an other you get a better and get a better implosion of the ultrasonic bubbles on the surface and in the bores to remove and to clean it everywhere. Very good system. Okay. Next thing, next thing is uh, uh, ultra is a uh, what call we call it high pressure spray cleaning with solvent. A solvent, a solvent application normally is a degreasing. Yeah, solvent traditional is a degreasing, does not have a, a big mechanical effect. Uh, the, the parts are, are in the solvent and, and the cleanliness is done by the, more or less by the degreasing. And we now do, uh, we want you to bring more, more uh, mechanical energy into the, into, the, into the cleaning, into the chamber. And therefore we do a spraying at higher pressures, higher pressure inside the chamber. inside the chamber. When we talk about a higher pressure, it's not a real high pressure as you do it with water. It's just up to 16 bars. But uh, think about it that a solvent machine normally is a vacuum machine where we run the process under vacuum, under, under one bar, absolute. And now we go with the spraying, we go up to 16 bar, which is a, is a, which is an, in this is a big range, is a big range. And still we are using solvent and solvent is flammable, flammable as I said before. And you must be careful with, uh, with steam, with vapor. Uh, 
that you fulfill all the explosive, uh, the explosion uh, equipment, uh, so the safety against explosion. Okay, when we do the spraying, we not we do not only want to spray from outside on the parts because a solvent cleaning is quite often a cleaning of uh, of bulk material. So we have a basket and a lot of full of parts inside that rotate, and we don't want only to spray from the outside where we maybe not reach uh, all surfaces and all 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 parts inside. So we said, okay, let's let's try to make a spraying also inside. Inside the bulk or inside inside uh, the work pieces, and therefore we created a system. As you see it here, we make a, a spray bar in the middle of the chamber. So we changed our our gear our gear system for the rotation on the back of the of the working chamber, and that we could pay, that we could uh, put the the spraying bar inside the chamber. We. Yep. We we added we added here a, a high pressure pump with a separate circulation, and when we have this spray bar in, inside the chamber, for sure we can't use a normal uh, a normal basket or a normal normal uh, tray or pallet for the parts. We have to think about special solutions that gives us the change to come really inside inside the goods to have the spray effect here. So all this sounds simple, looks simple, is more complicated because it's a vacuum machine and it's the other range of the pressure we are now working with. And we, yeah, from the technical side, it's, it's more complicated than it, than it looks like here. But it gives a really, good, a really good effect and shortens your cycle time because you don't need to wash that long. You can have a, a shorter cycle, you can reduce the, the washing time with it. So, last solution, last possibility we have is something we called PPC, pulsated pressure cleaning. Pulsated pressure cleaning is more used for aqueous solutions. Aqueous solutions uh, run normally under under normal pressure. We have a normal immersion process at at one bar or whatever, and we can reach a very good effect when we change when we change the pre pressure in the chamber. Which means we we lower. In this case, we lower the pressure in the chamber. What happens if you go if we go down with the chamber uh, with the with the pre pressure in the chamber? Uh, the water, let's say, begins to boil. Uh, the lower the pressure is, the lower, uh, the, the faster the, the water is boiling. And this boiling causes bubbles. And then we, we rise up the, uh, the pressure again. And this means this these boiling process is stopped rapidly. It is stopped and uh, the bubbles are exploding again. And this change we do very, very fast, very fast. That's why we call it pulsated pressure cleaning because we are really yeah, pulsating. Yeah? We, we, we lower the pressure, we go up with the pressure, we lower, we go up, and, and, and. For to, 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 uh, to, to create the bubbles and to make the, the bubbles explode on the, on the surface. Yeah? If the, the bubbles now is exploding on a surface, means it removes the liquid from this part of the surface and fresh fresh liquid fresh cleaning liquid can go on this surface so we have a an exchange of the medium all the time on the surface which uh, improves the cleaning again uh, and on the other hand by the by the explosion on the bubbles of the bubbles on the surface we have yeah um, micro jet we have a micro jet where where we have a, a, a big power on, on this uh, specific, specific surface part. Okay, so the, the, the bubbles are, are collapsing, yes. Yeah. This is again for, for complicated geometries, for, 
for small tiny parts, for parts with special, special contamination on it. Uh, the difference to the ultrasonic plus I talked about is uh, ultrasonic plus is, has an effect where, where you have an ultrasonic use and where the ultrasonic is working on the part. Then you can improve the ultrasonic by the ultrasonic plus. Here the pulsated pressure cleaning is really everywhere. It's really everywhere in the in the liquid in the chamber and reaches all surfaces, all all parts on the on the workpiece and gives you yeah everywhere uh, the, a good cleaning. It's it doesn't matter if it's inside inside uh, a geometry or if it's outside. It's really everywhere. Ultrasonic is there where the ultrasonic effect is coming to the part, but the pulsated pressure cleaning yeah reaches all the all the uh, contours it can be it is more mostly uh, in use for uh, for aqueous solutions and can be integrated in all kind of machines in chamber machines in multi stage machines etc yeah M i would say that that's it i wanted to give you an overview about different different solutions it's a little bit uh, yeah Four, four totally different different solutions. Uh, I hope it was not too confusing for you. What what we can have? We should talk in uh, in all special applications about how we can help you, how we can improve the cleanliness of your parts. And I'm pleased to answer your questions now. We have some time left. Thank you.